Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create polybeam integral structures with this example. I will provide this example link in the description below of this video. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures in India environment. I want to open our example. Okay, in in our first example, we have polybeam. You can see. Uh, 3000 height and 3000 horizontal at the corner we have radius 1000 radius in the corner okay now we'll create this polybeam in tecla structure so let's open okay initially we need to create a uh, views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines okay uh, click on here and enter elevation on grid and select all control a shortcut and copy by using the shortcut control c and remove here and paste it here this title elevation on grid then click on create then click on ok and ok now views are created now remove this option direct modification click on it to remove this option okay now go to top view planet zero so use the shortcut control i to open view list now click on here planet zero and click on this arrow to open view you can see now in the background we have planet zero now close this window now i'm going to create first example you can see in our first example we have uh, vertical 3000 horizontal 3000 so we're going to create polybeam with click on this option click on steel and click on this option polybeam and zoom it here now i'm going to create here so click on here first point and click don't click on it just place the cursor at here and enter value 3000 vertical so enter 3000 and click on enter you can see now we have 3000 vertical polybeam now we need to create horizontal so currently we have option orthogonal you can see at the cursor point we have orthogonal option if you are not getting this orthogonal option you need to click on o on your keyboard click on o to activate orthogon you can see when you click on o you will get here o option uh, to you can see orthogonal snapping is on if you are cl click on it once again then this orthogonal snap symbol will be gone okay you need to click on here o to activate this orthogonal snapping symbol so now just place the cursor don't click on it just place the cursor and enter the value 3000 horizontal and click on enter now that's it just we need to create vertical 3000 and horizontal 3000 that's enough for the polybeam so click on enter to create polybeam you can see now we have polybeam vertical 3000 and a horizontal 3000 like this now click on window and select this 3d view you can see by default we have eye section profile like this in our example we have polybeam with profile ismb 250 so i'm going to change this profile you can see by default we have this profile and to edit this profile then double click on it you need to double click on on beam so just double click on beam to open steel beam property window you can see by default we have ismb 300 is the according to indian standard profile ismb 300 but in our example we have in ismb 250 so now we're going to change this profile you can directly enter here otherwise click on here profile catalog and select this option ismb 250 then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result you can see now this profile should be ismb 250 according to indian standards in our example so close this window and go to top view click on window and select this planet zero and zoom it at this corner we required radius with thousand so now i'm going to create here so in our example you can see now we have curved beam like this at the corner with the radius thousand we need to create here fillet radius at this corner so select this beam then you will get this here you can see oh pink color point so double click on this pink color point to open this option you can see corner chamfer type like this none present so click on here and we need to select here rounding so 
select this rounding option and we already have the radius 1000 so enter here 1000 then click on modify to see the result here you can see now we have rounding with radius 1000 now close it you can see you'll get like this okay just like in our example first example now coming to second example uh, in our second example we have we have pipe profile pipe 100 is the diameter and 5 is the thickness now we have this pipe horizontally 2000 and vertically 1000 and horizontal 2000 like this uh, at the corner we have radius 300 and at this corner we have chamfer 300 horizontal and 300 vertical so now i'm going to create this example so open our tecla structures now select this poly beam once again initially we need to create horizontally 2000 so click on here first point here and give the direction don't click on it just place the cursor at the end point or midpoint and enter value we record 2000 horizontally so enter 2000 and then click on enter on your keyboard or you can directly click on here ok you can see now this indicates the we can create 2000 horizontally now now next point in our example we have vertical 2000 downward direction you can see 1000 so give the direction in this direction then enter value 1000 on your keyboard then click on enter on your keyboard to create 1000 vertical like this now next step we have horizontal with 2000 value so give horizontal direction and you can make sure your orthogonal option is activated now just place the cursor horizontally and enter value 2000 once again then click on enter on your keyboard okay that's it now go to in our example we have poly beam just like horizontal vertical and horizontal that's it so our placement of this poly beam is enough so click on enter to exit the command to create poly beam like this now right click on mouse interrupt now click on window and select this 3d view you can see by default we have i section profile just like previous profile use the shortcut ctrl r and pick the rotation point here and use the cursor mouse middle button and to control hold the control button to rotate like this you can see by default we have i section profile here now we need to change this profile in our example we have pipe profile you can see pipe 100 by 5 thickness so now i'm going to create this profile so double click on this beam and click on here and minimize this i profile here click on this minus symbol and we require circular hello section pipe profile so click on here maximize this plus symbol and uh, select this pipe and by default we have diameter outer dia 200 but in our example we have 100 and thickness 5 millimeter so enter here 100 and thickness 5 millimeter then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result you can see now currently we have 100 dia and thickness 5 millimeter okay you need to place this pipe exactly at the middle of this point so now we're going to change the depth here under position click on here and select this middle and click on modify to place the pipe exactly at the middle of this pick point just like this okay if you want to change the color then click on here let's take class 2 then click on modify to change the color like this if you want to change the title of this pipe then under the name you can type here pipe then click on modify and close it okay by default currently we have pipe like this with the corner sharp corner like this now i'm going to change the corner profile so click on window and select this planet zero and select this pipe uh, to show these points so double click on this point to open this chamfer property window like this under type we need to select the first option we have radius with 300 millimeter radius rounding so click on here and select this option rounding and we have rounding radius 300 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have pipe with bend here with radius 300 millimeter rounding now close this window 
at this corner in our example uh, we have 300 vertical and 300 horizontal chamfer value at this corner so double click on this point corner point now click on here and we need to select option line then x direction we have 300 millimeter and y direction also we have 300 millimeter then click on modify to see the result you can see you'll get like this now you can see in our example we have horizontal 300 and vertical 300 so we have created like this now close this window click on space radial right mouse view. you can see you'll get like this the pipe now click on window and select this 3d view use the control or mouse middle button to rotate like this you can see practically you will get pipe like this with the bend rounding and here with the chamfer i will provide this pdf example link in the description below of this video please download and practice along with this video okay that's it about how to create polybeam intercular structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please join my channel i will provide doubt clarification videos and requested videos only for joint members so i request you please join my channel okay thank you